Let me ask you about one more idea that relates to what we are going to talk about. So we talked about expectation value, which might have been a bit new to people. Um, how about weighted average? Do you remember? Let me give you an example of weighted average. Once again, you're great. <laughs> so you're actually, this is how your grade is actually calculated. And if you want to kind of pro project how well you will do overall, this is how you can do it. So according to your syllabus, this is how your grade is set up. The, the lab is worth, um, was it, is it worth 20%? It should be worth 20%. So lab is worth 20% of grade. Homework is worth another 20% of grade. Uh, multiple choice portion of uh, midterms are worth Okay, this is not a good example. Let me give you a uh, let me give you the uh, example for a hype. Well, my other class, physics ten, they have a more interesting breakdowns. So, for physics ten, uh, they are um, uh, they one kind of homework assignment has a grade of ten percent overall, and. Um, grade of, sorry, 20% overall. They have a second kind of homework assignment, which has grade of 10%. And they have peer grading, which um, is the same thing you guys do. That's worth 10% on its own. And they have midterm exams, uh, which is worth, um, which is worth 30% on its own, or all the midterms together. And the final exam um, on its own is worth 30% of their grade. So their <laughs> weights are more interesting. So how do you do weighted average? Anybody here know the formula? OK, I'll be multiplying with these at some point. Let me give them a symbol, w1, w2, w3. W4, W5, or WI. OK, so there's, what am I multiplying this um, WIs to? What, I, what am I multiplying it to? Uh, the, the, score. the score in the category, let's say from 0 to 100%. So score in each of the categories, I. OK, and then, so I have five of these multiplied numbers. What do I do after? Yeah, you add them together. You add them. And then anything else after that? Divided by five. Not divided by five. That actually gives you a wrong answer. So in. Divided by, by the sum of the weights. Yeah. So in the generalized case, when you are doing weighted average, that's what you're supposed to do. So multiply each of the thing you want to average by the weight, and then you know, add them all up, and then divide the whole result by the sum of the weight. This is the um, average score, or uh, weighted average score. Yep. Um, now, this is a special case where if you add up all the weights, you'll get 100% so that uh, this division won't do anything. Now, when you actually look at your gradebook right now, um, your gradebook currently is, or their gradebook, which is uh, similar to your gradebook, is currently actually operating without a final exam score, which means that some of all the weights do not add up to 100%. In your case, they actually add up to 80%. So in the background, this is what Canvas is doing to give you your overall percentage, which tells you that um, your homework is being overcounted and your exam scores are being undercounted right now. <laughs> if you know how weighted average works. Um, but this is weighted average, and this is something you might have seen, might have seen other people do. Now, what I will tell you is this. Expectation value is a type of weighted average where the weights are, so in a weighted average, weight can be really anything. In fact, the way I teach physics 4A, the center of mass is the weighted average, 
of position where the weight is the mass of the thing. Um, so in the expectation value, so if I want to, inst um, so, so if I want to get expectation value out of it, expectation value, then what I do is where I have weight here, instead of weight, it becomes the probability of that particular outcome happening. You mul so multiply that, add them all up, and then you divide it by sum of all probability of all the, like, all the outcomes happening. Now, if you normalize the correctly, then the sum ought to be one, and it, it shouldn't do anything. If you didn't normalize correctly, then this step actually uh, does the normalization for you at the very end. 